Have you ever tried running Olama in Google Colab only to realize that Olama serve just freezes your notebook? It doesn't do anything and it doesn't let you move forward with the code. Well, you are not alone. Today I'm gonna show you a simple yet powerful trick using, we'll see in just a second, to run Olama in the background. So you can actually use it without blocking your entire notebook. Now here I am in my collab and free instance of collab and you can see that I can change the runtime here. I can use this T4 GPU. We just save this and I want to connect with the session here. Now we know Olama, we use it for our local installations. So if you go to Olama download and you can see that since Google Collab runs on Linux you can use this command to get Olama installs. So that's what I have done here. I pasted this curl command here and I'm going to run this now. So running this will download Olama to Collab that's for sure. Okay now we can see that this is installed. Now for using Olama we need to pull some model first. So if we try to Olama pull DeepSeekR1 for example, it won't allow you because Olama is not yet serve. So if let's say I run this code Olama serve and you can see that this is being served but we cannot go to the next cell here and run this command Olama pull DeepSeekR1. We cannot run this command because the system is hijacked by Olama serve and Google Collab doesn't allow you to move forward if Olama serve is running. Now this is the terminal but this is not available for the free version but in this video I'm gonna show you how to run this using a simple trick. So what is our aim? Our aim is first to run Olama serve, then to pull the model, then to list the list of, and then to see the list of models that we have. Then we install Olama here, pip install Olama, and run this command where the role is user and content is why is the sky blue. Give me short answer. So we cannot run this now because it is stuck in the Olama serve command. So the solution is basically instead of running Olama directly, we can use Python's threading module. Here is how it works. So I'm going to stop this Olama serve and I'm going to show you the code of threading right now in three seconds. Three, two, one. So first and foremost, we are going to import threading. Then you're going to import subprocess, import time. We define a new function known as run Olama serve and subprocess we use the subprocess.popen and we are going to olama serve here we are going to start a new thread so threading.thread and target is run olama serve this is a function that we just defined we are going to start the thread so this is going to take some time let's say it takes 5 seconds for the thread to start or olama to serve then we need to wait for five seconds before we send commands. So this is the simple code. Let's run this. So now we see that Olama is being served and five seconds is complete. It's ready for for your processing. So let's see if Olama is served or not. You can ignore this Olama serve command now. Next, we are going to pull this and let's see it really works so we can pull this model now you can see that it's a 4.7 gb file and the download speed is very fast about 200 mbps and let's wait for it to download verify the download then we are going to see the list of models that we have i'm going to run this command olama list so after this is completed this list will be done. It will show us the list of how many models are available in Olama. So we see pulling is success. So it has successfully pulled DeepSeek R1. And you can see that Olama list, we have DeepSeek R1 here. So now we have Olama running. And next, what you can do is go ahead and do pip install Olama. This is the Python uh, package Olama. And now we import that olama and olama.chat put in the model name message here role is user 
content is your message that you are going to put and you can get the response here and inside the response but that's basically a dictionary format so we're going to extract the message and then the content so if you're going to run this we should be able to see something now since this is a thinking model it will take some time but ultimately you will get the answer so as you can see we get the answer now you get the idea this is running on a free collab notebook isn't that great so in summary if i say and explain again the threading process instead of blocking the execution we are running olama inside a separate thread which lets the main notebook continue running the subprocess.popen command ensures that olama keeps running as a separate process while threading.thread makes sure that it doesn't block execution we use time.sleep for 5 seconds is to give a few seconds to start before we send request. There we have it, a simple trick, neat trick using Python threading to keep Olama running in Google Collabs and that to a free one without blocking your notebook. If you found this useful, hit that like button for more AI tutorials and drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one.